No, we're back at Blaze Wizard Live with an interesting one. We're actually going to seek your help today because we are absolutely confused beyond belief at this point. What is happening with Evolving Skies? Like, literally, what the F is happening? My face all week has been this surprised girl meme face. Like, I, I've been following it all week. We did a video a couple weeks ago on it. I cannot figure out what is happening as there's more product that's entering the market but the price keeps going up and it, it doesn't make any sense i've said it a bunch of times on the channel but evolving skies is officially broken and we're going to show you what i mean super quick video but i'm here to ask for youtube pokemon experts help i need you to tell me what is going on with evolving lies wait what like what exactly what, what is happening the umbreon v max alternate art is 425 dollars today the booster box is 200 dollars. the etb is still I, I gotta pull it up here 44 dollars, even though it just went into a bundle at big box store costco for 37.99 like how are these things happening it slid but not slid all the way down as it should have so I need everyone to watch this video and comment in the video comment section what you think is happening that is causing this anomaly in the Pokemon market. Evolving Skies has been out for nearly a year. The price spiked at after a massive reprint. It, it absolutely is the most confusing thing I've ever seen. And this is my other face right here what the fuck <laughs> like literally that has been me all week as i refresh tcg player and watch everything go up like five dollars a minute it absolutely makes zero sense but first smash the like button make sure you're subscribed to the channel we appreciate you being here it is a nice happy friday ladies and gentlemen and we're live we are we're live. WTF, mate. What is happening? Let's show it to you. The first thing we're going to look at is the ETB. So, like I said, this just got a gigantic reprint. People had no idea the ETB was going to get this large of a reprint. You could walk into Costco, buy the ETB, and a four pack tin for $37.99. Now, given that knowledge, the tin's probably worth 15 bucks, you know, worst case. So you're getting an elite trainer box for $23 at Costco. You can then turn around and go on TCG player and you can sell it for 43 shipped. That tells you all you need to know. The set is broken. There's so much demand for it that people are overpaying for something. They could borrow someone's Costco membership card or they could go to Costco themselves if they already have a membership. You're getting an instant $20 profit by going to Costco and listing your ETB. Obviously, you have to pay seller's fees or shipping if you're not doing it locally, but that in itself dictates what I mean absolutely broken now on tcg player you can obviously see that the market was affected by that huge big box store etb print because you can also walk into walmart and buy one for i think it's 44.99 so they've definitely seen once this uh reprint came through you know these have dropped 25 dollars, which makes all the sense in the world but why isn't it going to what the actual market price should be which should essentially be somewhere around that 30 dollar mark because people aren't going to eat the shipping and the seller's fees but if they only have 22 or 23 dollars into it there's there's definitely room in the etbs now let's look at the etb set because you can do the same thing go into costco buy both of the etb arts and then you can sell them in the set so right now if you're going to sell the set it's 86 dollars shipped so how is it over 40 dollars in etb when you can go in and get it for 23 there's just so much demand for the etb and this set in general and packs this is the cheapest way to do it at this point if you don't want to buy a booster box and hope that your booster box contains an alternate art you're going to get this etb and and go through the eight packs for essentially 40 bucks that's that's the best way to do it at this point 
you can get a collection box but it's going to come with other junk packs like chilling rain fusion psych etc etc so etb doesn't make any sense considering right now you can actually flip it for a profit now here's the booster box which is the thing that is throwing me the most uh, the the Moonbrion actually makes sense, so we'll talk about that. But the the booster box is legitimately it's so confusing to watch this because if you're into this set and you only buy booster boxes, you're just shelling out hundreds of dollars per booster box. So I'm I'm really just not sure why this is happening. The only thing I can think of is people are speculating that right now this booster box is not going to get another reprint. So they're just buying them up right now, getting their hands on anything they can. There's not a lot of people selling the, the uh, Evolving Skies booster boxes. Uh, when the when the reprint wave came through, they got gobbled up within the first week, if not the first couple of days here locally. And then since then, uh, the people that do have them are not actually selling them. Um, and obviously a good reason here is just to hold it and see how high this price goes. It's, it seems like it's going to the moon. If you look at this three month mark, it went down when they heard that the booster boxes were being reprinted you could get one for 140 and I did pick up one of these at 140 I opened it of course so since that period in July it has only gone up it, it's gone up steadily since it was reprinted and here in the last two weeks it is $200 shipped for a booster box of, of evolving lies now if you've opened as many of these boxes as we have on the channel you know how brutal one of these boxes can be you can pay 200 dollars for this box and you can open up less than 40 dollars in pulls it's happened to me multiple times so the fact that people are paying 200 dollars for these booster boxes tells me that they're investing in it these people are not opening the booster boxes at this point because of that 200 dollars price point there's only uh two cards that can actually turn that into a profitable opening and that's of course the umbreon looking at the moon and the rayquaza uh and the canopy both alternate v max cards so the booster box is the biggest anomaly in my opinion so i think this is the speculation zone that we're in on this booster box and right now people are banking on the fact that there's not going to be any more booster boxes reprinted this set's going to stay hot and this is going to continue to climb what do you think on the booster boxes tell us in the comment section of the video and then last but not least we'll show it to you again the most broken modern card that i've experienced since i've been back into the hobby is this umbreon v max alternate art from evolving skies it's the moonbreon it's the umbreon reaching for the moon it is now gonna cost you 415 dollars is the cheapest copy but they have no sales so i would not recommend them i probably wouldn't even recommend this 92.9 percent on such an expensive card i definitely wouldn't recommend any of these zero percent so essentially if you want a good seller and a near mint copy 427 shipped to your door is the price right now on tcg player which is 125 dollars more than it was less than 30 days ago $125 on a card that was reprinted is currently everywhere on the shelves and you could open today by spending $4 or $4.29 on a booster pack if you go to GameStop and get a sleep pack you could open this card send it into PSA get a 10 and you're getting $8.50 for the PSA 10 so I get why the demand for this card is there but i don't get why the price continues to spike and it's so aggressively spiking it makes no sense because you can see on facebook if you're in any pokemon groups multiple people a day are posting their that they're pulling this card whether it's from an etb a collection box a booster box whatever the case may be they are posting up that they've pulled this card today i've seen it today myself in i'm i'm in three facebook groups not that many i've seen six posts today that they pulled that card today so that's just what you're seeing in my limited view of facebook groups not the full market where you know thousands and thousands of packs are being opened every hour of evolving lies why is more 
copies entering the market making the price of this card go up is everyone holding it is everyone buying any copy that comes up for sale we want to know what you think is actually happening is this a conspiracy theory is this an anomaly in the pokemon market just due to a super hot super coveted set aka evolving lies aka evolving skies but really we want to know what you think because at at this point all i can do is this literally all i can do is is say i have no idea what's going on and i watch it every day because i'm waiting for something to shift that makes sense and continues to go the opposite direction it just goes up it just goes up how is evolving skies 200 dollars a booster box when 30 days ago it was 140 please tell us we have to know anyways thanks for tuning in thanks for watching our silly video but it makes sense we have dictated we've talked about it it's clearly happening that broken card from evolving skies the evolving skies set is now broken let us know what you think is happening thanks again for tuning in peace